almost 20 years ago today like it was yesterday back then I was staying at this place on the second floor and it was morning and I had gotten up early to go walk around the west bottoms here now this is not meant to be a um, <clears throat> personal indulgence or is it a recollection of history that's really significant to too many other people other than me but it's just me reliving that day as it happened for me I just think it's funny how something an event like that could be seared into everybody's collective memory including mine so a lot has changed since that time but a lot hasn't I was on a mission that day. My uh, car, which was an 88 Subaru, had three rims that were designed especially for Subaru. But I was looking for the fourth one. I really had no way of knowing how different that day would be. Little did I know that when I started my walk, events were already happening. So my goal was to go up to this place that sold uh, tires, figuring that, I don't know, tire places get in uh, rims every so often, so I was heading up there first. In 2001, this was a place that fixed and sold tires, and so I had walked to here, and uh, the guy at the desk made me wait for a while. And his answer came back as, uh, no, we didn't have any kind of Subaru rims. However, while I waited there, I could hear somebody talking on the radio in the background. It sounded like Peter Jennings, the ABC News anchor. And I was like, well, that's weird. Why is Peter Jennings on the radio? And so when the clerk came back and he told me, no, we didn't have any Subaru rims, I asked him, what's with Peter Jennings? And the guy said, Oh, and he was very nonchalant about it. Oh, something about some World Trade Center just got bombed or something like that. So the news media is talking about it. But I haven't really been listening to it. I was like, huh, okay. Well, I guess I'll find out when I get home. I'll watch uh, TV or listen to the radio or something. I continued my walk, but the longer I was walking, the more my 
brain started turning thinking about what was going on and it began to dawn on me intuitively I guess that something wasn't right and I tell you ever since that day the sound of an airplane would haunt me I planned on taking a longer walk than I did but I decided to cut it short to go home and see what was happening. I mean, there had been a lot of talk in the news media about how Al-Qaeda was trying to sneak into the country from Canada and use uh, dirty bombs on our cities, you know, bombs laced with radioactive material. But, uh, yeah, my mind started, my imagination started going really, really fast. I mean, that's a horrible scenario but I didn't expect what I found when I got home. I mean, everybody knew Al-Qaeda had it in for the United States and for some reason targeted the World Trade Center in New York particularly. Although the guy at the tire place said World Trade Centers, so I was thinking it wasn't just in New York. So I ran home. Well, I didn't really run, but I walked quickly home. Actually, I did run part of it. And, uh, went upstairs to the second floor where our loft was and I turned on a little five inch black and white TV that I had tuned it into the antenna and uh, yeah they were going wall to wall with some sort of story of some terrorist attack and all I could see was smoke and a familiar looking skyline and then it dawned on me I recognize that place I've been there I've been there a year before and I knew the skyline, it was New York City, only there was something very big missing. It was the World Trade Center, it was gone. And even today, even today I just can't fathom it. All those lives, all those people. Just a normal, Nice, bright, sunny Tuesday. People went to work like normal. Then they, they never came home. I don't know, what do those people ever do to anybody? We'll never know, I guess.